Um, so I've seen the cycle, like I've heard about the cycle, obviously. Um, I won't expose my age, but, you know, I wasn't alive in part of those. But, um, you know, I, I just think for me, it was COVID, actually, that kind of pushed me to do it. I think I've always just, you know, loved the product, I would say. And um, I just wanted to to make a complete career switch. And I've always been more of a interpersonal, social, outgoing, um, you know, big network kind of kind of person and um that doesn't go with an COVID. accountant really yeah exactly yeah. you know i was sitting at my desk every day just getting crushed in in tech finance and you know <laughs> i just woke up one day being like you know enough is enough like I, that's great um, yeah i want to take the risk you know like obviously coming from you know a pretty great salary Good salary like, yeah i was just yeah, thinking it was, that, it yeah. Was, comfortable it was easy yeah yeah know yep, what's exactly. coming in every two weeks Oh yeah. Oh, I yeah. believe that. I yeah. It. Yes, for but sure. But also, what I can <laughs> say now is that sometimes I, I miss it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I do miss that steady cash flow. That's for sure. For sure. But having my background, I can plan around that easily. So, um, yeah. yeah it's which just, is it, which is important, as you can tell, it. right? Yes. And one of the things that I think leads a lot of realtors down the wrong road is is for sure. that sort of like excitement where I made all this money one month, and so now I'm going to go and buy a Lamborghini and uh you know renovate my house and yeah, uh yeah. get three new suits and then the next month you don't make yeah. any sales and you go oh what uh what do i do now right yeah so exactly. i think that's a yeah. that's a really strong i think that would be more important because in order to continue to market continue to excel continue to grow your business you have to have the the uh, budget to be able to, to support that so like you're you know recently you've 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 uh, started this recent uh, this real estate career right it's not like yeah. 10 years ago this is all recent no. you, you're yeah. already out there you're already doing well you're getting onto social i think social media like man is it underused like i really think you have yeah. no competition with amongst real estate people um in the social media space might seem like there's a lot of people on there, but they're not consistent. Maybe they don't know what they're talking about. And if you just play the long game and you get involved and you post and you do the things and you're steady, there is just so much business for people on social media to be able to, to be had. Totally. And I honestly, actually, at first, in my first year, I never really understood that. Um, and I never actually wanted to be kind of, you know, that, that social media realtor. And, and not to say I am even close to that. Um, but, you know, I've seen some realtors on there who actually really inspire me in terms of trying to change the conversation around real estate, trying to educate, you know, the people, the clients, the, the customers out there about how this industry works, what could go wrong, how to do it right, how to do it ethically. Um, I think that's a big piece that's missing in the educational piece of like, um, how do we help? you know, people not get into the situation where we're starting to see now in terms of, you know, maybe bad investments. Um, of course, we can never say what, you know, good and bad and trying to time the market and whatnot, but just how to educate them on how transactions work and, um, you know, not put any anyone in that situation ever. So that's kind of my approach to social media is I don't really care about all that fancy TikTok, you know, showing and videos and fancy marketing. Um, I'm just out there trying to educate as much as possible. Um, it's hard to find the time, honestly. It's just not really my personality. Um, obviously, me being, you know, sitting at the computer, crunching the numbers, doing the research more than, you know, focusing on that social media piece. But yeah, I totally agree with you, TK. It's, um, it's a huge tool that, uh, that people can leverage in, in every business. And I didn't understand the power of that until you know, I did start getting a couple of leads or I speak to other realtors who have closed, you know, $2 million deals that they've gotten from TikTok or Twitter, right? Like it's, it's just crazy. 